Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. Today we are doing these great window stick-ons and we're going to make these with our glue gun and they remind me of the old vintage Christmas ornaments that um, you used to have and it just has a real glass look to me and I really really like these. So what we're going to start with today is we're going to start with our glass and if you have a frame or if you don't, go to the dollar store and buy a frame that's got your glass in it or the thrift store and take it out to use for your glass. And just make sure that you don't have any sharp edges. That's the only thing. But don't spend money on a good piece of glass. Just get it that way. And then I took my dish soap and I just ran a light coat over this so we can pick it up when we're done and all is good. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the holly but I also want to work on as well a Christmas ornament and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my patterns underneath and I tried to eyeball my holly and I kept coming out with weird shapes so I just drew a pencil shape on a piece of paper and I'm going to use that and then I also had Christmas ornaments and I'm going to do this Christmas ornament here and there's all kinds of neat places to find Christmas ornaments, coloring book patterns, Christmas paper, all kinds of things like that you can use. So, you know, think of all the different things you can do. Don't get just stuck just in my ideas. So I'm going to be using my glue gun and I'm going to be using it on high today. And I'm going to start, let's start with... I'm going to start with the Christmas ornament here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace the outside first. And then we're going to come back in and fill the middle. And the reason I want to do this guy actually in two parts, that's why I had to kind of think about how I want to do him, because I actually want to do the first part in one set. And the rest of it in the next step and try and get two different colors in there. And so we're going to see how that turns out. So I've got a circle in the middle here. I know it's always hard to see when everything is so flat. And I'm going to fill this all in with just the hot glue now. And you want to make sure you don't have any bubbles or any areas that don't have wax in them. And on a bigger piece, this piece you don't see quite as much. Now here is a hole right here, so we're going to come in and fill him in. And I do see another hole there. And I've tried to keep this as round as I can. It's not perfect, but we're going to get the idea. And that piece is pretty well all one coat. You don't see any separation of it. I am going to heat it just a little bit with my glue gun to get it, or excuse me, my embossing gun, just to get it all the same temperature. And if there were any lines, you heat it up to those lines disappeared. So while that's kind of cooling, I'm going to go over here and work on my holly piece. And I'm going to start on the outside first. And then we're going to come back in and fill him all in. And I really just love the look of these. I felt like we were back looking at Christmas ornaments from the 50s and the 60s. The wonderful blown glass ornaments. Alright, try to make sure I don't have any holes that I can see. And then we're going to heat this up. Now there are little strings, get rid of those, and if you need to take your hobby knife and cut those off, take them and cut them off. And I'm going to heat that up. 
and see there's an outside line. I want to show you this a little bit right here. When you look, you see this outside line. And what we want to do is heat that till that line is gone and the glue is all one temperature and all one thing. Okay, now we're going to let that guy cool. And this guy should be cool enough. You want him warm, but you don't want him to stick to any of your brushes. And I'm going to use my embossing powders. And my embossing powders, you can usually find them at um, your local craft store. You, they usually come in a pack. You want the kind that is shiny. You don't want to use the kind that is real coarse and not shiny until you heat it it doesn't work as well so we're using the real shiny kind and if you can't find it at your craft store bluewell.com bluewellarts.com is a great supply to pick up craft supplies now see we're just going to come in here and we're just going to put this guy and i want to get his corners and everything done here and I'm pouncing off in the lid first because there is so much of this color. I want to try and get rid of that as much as I can because we want to put a second color in there. And I'm going to put just a reflective light in here. And it probably would be a good idea if you had a q-tip and you could clean this other area out but we're gonna not worry about that I'll just leave that there okay now let's go over to our holly here and i'm going to of course do it in green let's see if this guy's There's just so many things you could do with this. You could do poinsettias. You could do all kinds of Christmas bulbs. There's just tons of items that you could do with this. And we are waiting on our little our red berries because we're going to do those just a little bit different. And I am going to put gold down in to get his reflective light. that guy for a minute I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna start filling this guy in add another glue stick here sure that we're right up next to that other wax so we don't have any holes or anything try not to get the strings across the top of that move those with my brush don't get your brush in the hot wax that's for sure like I just did but I can see some of these edges you want to make sure we got these edges good okay so I'm gonna go ahead and heat this guy up now. I have a huge hole over here. It is hard to see because it's so clear.
this guy cool down just a little bit. While we're doing that, we're going to go work on our berries. I'm getting these edges. I've not done a good job on them. Needed to get them more solid. I want to keep them as much texture as possible so I'm going to do three of them. I'm going to do one, I want them nice and high, two, and they've got to be touching our other part to keep them attached. We want to make sure of that. So I've got three of those and I want to add some little rhinestones to them and I got those a little bit too close and the heat is kind of just going all together but that's okay because this will help separate that design it'll show that there's three there I got them too close together and when you're working with warm especially wax or guns or anything like that with the heat part if you have something that's hot, it attracts the other hot part. So that's why if you're working with a warm part, you notice it picks up the other warm part. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just do, we need to let that cool just a tad. Let's see if this guy's cool enough over here. Put our red around him. Try and keep it as much off that gold as possible. There's still edges that I missed on the ornament down here. It could be filled in just some more. But this is going to give you the basic idea and you can perfect it and do it slower and take your time more exact with your glue gun pattern. I try just to get this a little bit here. Set that in. I'm also going to go up to my top now. We're going to fill him in. And that's our ornament hanger. Check our little berries over here. Keep it off your other part. Don't forget to do your edges. I got a lot of extra on that, but that's okay. I think what I'm going to do is give this guy more definition. I'm going to come back in here on this very top one and put a little thing again. Cool, just a tad. Drop his bling into it. I may have got him sunk too deep, but that's okay. Now this part's dry enough. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of sparkle to it. I think that's really adds so much. Is a little bit of glitter, and we're just going to barely put enough glitter. And I'm also going to do it on this one just gives it that little bit of bling. Let's see if I can 
shake it down too much. I uh, got too much there. That's okay. We'll shake it off when we're done. <coughs> and see if this guy is cool enough to. He's still pretty wet down there. And let's see what color. Let's make him gold up on top. I would normally do silver, but I've got my silver put away. But maybe with gold in him, you wouldn't want him that color. Okay. So we need this little guy over here. You see how we helped raise that berry up now. Okay, so we've got these all done. And the one thing that I do, and you need to do while they're warm, is once you're done, just take them off of your window, or your glass, excuse me, and go put them directly on to your window. Guy okay, is still cool or warm at the bottom. I'm stretching him out a little bit here. Get rid of some of my glitter. So you'd go over to your window and you would put these on your window. And you want to make sure that they're warm enough. And if you ship them as a gift or gave them to any of your friends, you'd want to warm them back up just a little bit. You don't want to melt it drastically or anything. And put them on your window while they are warm. <laughs> so we've got that guy undone now. So let's say, let's flip this over now. And this is your window. Okay, so just put it on there. And if you, like we talked about, if you gave them to somebody or they got them after they were cold, warm it up on the back side, not the front side. And just simply, I got that guy a little bit too warm right there, just put them onto your window. And then when your holidays are done, you just gently pull them off and they're going to come right off and you don't have anything left on your windows and there you have your Christmas window clean so just go out have a great time have fun with them just do all kinds of different designs I've given you the basic idea and there's just you know so many things that you can do with that make sure you trim your tails and have fun with it We've also done some leaves and other things for the fall. So think of things outside, you know, the box that you would want to try. Jump over to my Facebook page at Miriam Joy Gourd Creations. See what we're putting up there daily. We also try to put up different videos for you to enjoy. Thank you for joining me today. God bless.